This is gonna be a fun one because today's video topic idea came from one of you. And in fact, it actually came from one of my very few <laughs> female subscribers. So she hit me up on Instagram and wrote me this. I saw a segment on a show this week that thought might be an idea for your channel. Taking a summer outfit and changing a couple things to make it for fall. Shoes, sweater, and jacket. It was for women, so there was more accessories to change in the outfit, but thought maybe you could work for men's outfits. I know you already did a big outfit one recently, but maybe something you can do later. Thank you very much for this idea, and that's exactly what this video is gonna be about today. And just for the record, you guys, I do get a lot of, I guess, unsolicited video topic ideas. Some are good, but most of them just really wouldn't work in a full-length video. However, with that said, if there's a topic that you want me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or just slide into my DMs on Instagram. Now on the surface, this whole idea seemed pretty simple, but really once I started getting into it and choosing different outfits, it was actually a little more difficult than I initially thought because at least for me, I wear shorts like all the time in the summer because it's really hot where I live and shorts don't really work for fall outfits. So what I had to do was go through some of the things that I was wearing over the last few months when I was out during the late afternoons and evenings. So it's pretty common for me, especially over the weekend, to go out somewhere for dinner and then hit up like a wine bar or a cocktail lounge after dinner. So most of what I'm gonna be showing you today works in those scenarios, but I also wanna throw in a very casual example at the end. Okay, for this first example, I'm wearing these off-white pants with these cool side adjusters and suede loafers, and I'm also wearing this brown knit button polo. The pants are this linen cotton blend, and they're a little bit roomy on me because they just don't stretch like something in, say, like a cotton spandex blend. And this is absolutely something that I've worn out this past summer. So to make it more like fall, I put on some socks <laughs> and I went with these suede chukka boots and this olive green shirt jacket. I think the colors blend really well together and this is definitely something I would wear out this fall. Here's something that's pretty interesting because she was right in her message to me that women have a lot more accessories to play around with than we do, so we can't be quite as subtle. But adding the boots and the lightweight shirt jacket really helps bring in some of that fall vibe. Something else I wanted to mention here really quick is the socks. I get a lot of pushback in the comments when it looks like I'm not wearing socks in some of my lookbook videos, but I promise you, 99% of the time I am wearing socks, I just wear the no-show socks. But this time of year, when the temperature starts dropping, my number one sock of choice are these from Straight Up Socks. I've talked about these guys a lot before in other videos, and that's because these are basically all I wear this time of year. And I've even shown you that my entire sock drawer is full of these. I've got a bunch in solid colors and I've got a bunch in Argyle. And now they have expanded their lineup with some all new amazing athletic socks. For those of you who are active, these new athletic socks are built to keep up with your every move. Ergonomically contoured for precise fit, these socks are differentiated by left and right foot designs to better match the natural shape of your toes. Zoned cushioning on the bottom of these socks offers extreme cushioning for cloud-like comfort. Mesh vents and advanced hydrophilic fibers work together to wick away moisture, keeping your feet cool and dry during your workouts. They use proprietary silicone strips on the inside to keep your sock in place and looking good all day long because I, for one, really hate having to always reach down and pull up my socks throughout the day. These solve that problem while still being comfortable. The small profile of those little silicone strips hold the sock in place instead of having to rely on this elastic being super tight because that gets very uncomfortable. These are made with moisture wicking, Pima cotton because it resists pilling, feels amazing and always looks nice and smooth. They also have a reciprocated heel for a better fit, smooth toe seams and a reinforced heel and toe for much longer wear. There's gonna be a special discount code and link down in the description that gets you 15% off until the end of October when you use the code FALLFASHION24. Once again, this offer runs until the end of October using the code FALLFASHION24. So if you need to restock your sock drawer with some quality socks this fall, these are definitely what you need. So hit that link below and grab yourself a few pairs today before time runs out. Okay, the next combination starts with these dark brown loafers, 
light blue chinos, and this brown knit polo. Totally something that I've worn this past summer, and it's a pretty versatile look in my opinion, because as you know, blue and brown complement each other. So then I changed up two things to bring in the fall vibe. First, the burgundy quarter zip sweater, and then those dark brown leather Chelsea boots. I think that the light pants still work really well in this combination, and this could be a very nice polished casual date night outfit. Now I like the light blue chinos so much that I wanted to do one more fall outfit with this one, so I swapped out the Chelsea boots for these more rugged looking boots, and then I went with this long sleeve lightweight sweater. Now, this is kind of a mix between a long sleeve t-shirt and a sweater, so it actually works really well tucked in. Now, I specifically did not wear a jacket with this one because I wanted you to imagine a jacket that you might already have in your closet and what that would look like paired up with this. So my mind immediately goes to brown suede or blue suede, but just try to imagine wearing this basic combo with a jacket that you already have. Let me know in the comments what you'd pair up with it. Okay, now we've got another evening or dinner look. I went with a pair of brown loafers, gray pattern dress trousers, and this navy blue knit polo. I think it's a pretty versatile look, at least in my opinion, that could work in a lot of situations. Now for the fall example, all I did was add some gray socks and this blue cardigan sweater. Super simple, but also a classy and sophisticated, polished casual appearance, and like I said earlier, it's pretty normal for me to be out to dinner somewhere on like a Friday or Saturday night and then head somewhere afterwards for some live music and maybe a few cocktails. And this is something I would absolutely wear. Okay, for the next casual look, I'm going with white leather sneakers, but of course, brown, gray, or blue sneakers would also work just fine. Gray denim and this navy blue short sleeve Henley. Pretty clean and simple, right? But still a very casual summertime outfit. So to turn it into a fall outfit, all I did was add this plaid shirt jacket. And it actually has a flannel inner lining, so it does add some pretty good insulation. And I think the design and the pattern are both super cool, and it's really just a great piece to just grab and go. And gentlemen, I'm very curious what you think about this whole concept, and maybe we do some more of this stuff, so please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And consider subscribing if you're not already, and as always, my friends, Thank you so much for watching, live well, and I will see you in the next one.